Two we were five there. You were? Together with those of Joshua. Yes. I think we were, we are nine. You were nine? Oh, we are um, nine. And uh, you were the most senior one? No. I have a senior one there. And who is? Waf was my senior and Jatujami. The, the remaining um, six yeah, were your juniors? No, they were my senior together with Jari Tulu. So there were other six people there that joined the unit? Yes, others came in. Did those people receive any form of training? No. Did they undergo the same training you went through, the six months training? Did they undergo that training? No, uh, we, ha we had two who went under the training of uh, lab tech as lab technicians. They did the training. Only two, uh, and how, do you know how long their training lasted, even as last technicians? No, I don't know for how long the training lasted. But do you know if they are certified lab technicians? I don't know whether they were certified. So even from um, the time you came back to mile two, the conditions with respect to the people that were working there, their qualifications had not improved. Correct? Can you please repeat your question? By the time you came back to mile two, that was in 20, between 2015 and 2016, mm -hmm. you've not had any improvement in the qualifications of the people that were there, and the people that joined you in that particular unit did not have any additional qualifications that can add value to the unit. Am I correct? You are correct, yes. Can you tell us about the present day, like the medic unit, the st staff that are there presently? Um, do you have any nurses, any qualified nurses uh, working under that particular unit? No. Um, the infirmary that is at the mile two prisons, huh? Has the condition improved from uh, previously till date? Uh, sorry, that is apart from the structure that you have. No, nothing has been improved there. So till now the conditions are still the same? The condition of the clinic is still the same. We were only given mattresses to put it there, but nothing has changed. You've been uh, in service for, let's say, about 14 years, correct? Yeah. And um, throughout your service, you've only served in the medic unit, correct? Yeah. And apart from the time that you served uh, at the main gate, at the main gate, you've only served in the medic unit. Correct. 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 Yes. And um, throughout your service, you've only undergo six months of training as a medic, and since then they've not um, improved your qualifications with respect to the job that you're doing, correct? Exactly. And your current position right now is um, the office officer in charge of the medic unit? No, mile two. In mile two? Yes. M is it officer in charge of mile two or the medic unit? No, the medic Help me unit. Out. It's because I have a senior lady. So I'm not in charge of the medic unit, medical unit. I'm the, old, the officer in charge of the mile two medical unit. So you are the officer in charge of mile two, mile two medical Clinics, units? Yes. And you've already told us that um, throughout your work at mile two prisons, you've only told us about uh, two incidents of torture that you've heard or witnessed. Correct? Correct, yes. But you also agreed that um, corporal punishment was a common thing, or beating and punishment of prisoners 
was a common thing at mile two prisons. Correct. 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 Yes. And um, you've also told us that um, beriberi was quite common. And is it still the same case as of now? No, not as of now. But it's not common as of now. Previously, beriberi was the leading cause of death of inmates at my two prisons is that correct yes that that is correct um apart from that uh, do you have anything else to add on to what you've said so far i have nothing else to add on that well thank you very much uh, madam witness thank you for answering all of my questions mr chairman uh, that will be all for me for the witness Thank you very much, my Council, and thank you very much, Madam Sane, uh, for your testimony. Commissioners, if you have any questions to ask, please so indicate. We'll start with Bishop, right hand side. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Madam Fanta Sane, you did mention that um, prisoners that suffer from these um, very, very sickness. Um, you normally uh, recommend high protein diet for them. What would that high protein diet be? I don't know how the high protein diet is being prepared at the kitchen. What they call it high protein diet? That, that diet is at least better. I think beans, beans, are, beans is involved, fish, meat, so they prepare it. I cannot exactly explain how that diet is. The officer at the kitchen will be in a better position to describe how the diet is. Secondly, the, um, the prisoners that are tortured and uh, injuries are inflicted, you know, on them. Um, uh, how do you treat that injury? Or is it that you treat at your own level? Or do you um, recommend that they should go to, um, to the hospital to get a um, proper medical checkup? Thank you very much. Uh, normally, if it is a minor injury, then we treat it at our own level. But if it is a serious thing, obviously we have to refer the individual to the hospital for better management. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Kinte. Um, Madam Sane. Yes, ma'am. Um, your uh, issue about the tortures centered more on convicts or uh, convicts and uh, those remanded. Uh, I think uh, the, those did, I'm not sure whether Solo Sanden was a convict or a detainee, but uh, not much has been covered about the detainees. And uh, the reports we had here was that a lot of detainees were. Um, um, tortured very seriously. Uh, can you give us example? Well, an, an encounter where you have s not witnessed, but you have uh, uh, you have knowledge of uh, detainees being tortured, and who were they? Detainees are brought to the prisons without a warrant. So they, I can say, we don't. Have, we don't deal with them directly. In other way, we don't um, have a lot to do with them. Those who have a lot to do the, with them are those who brought them. They will take in, take them, go with them, and they will bring them back. So I don't, I've never heard of a detainee being punished or tortured in the prisons there. If they are tortured, maybe they were collected, taken away, then tortured, and they will be bring, brought back, or maybe. 
as I heard from the TRRC, others were tortured inside the security wing. But I, I don't, I don't, can't remember a detain. And those were even soldiers. But civilian detained prisoners, I've never heard of any. Meaning you have never treated any detainee that was tortured? From outside. Whether from outside or within? Yes, we have treated some. Can you give examples? Uh, the U UDT, UDP militants, we've treated some. Yes. Can you name a few? I know Solo Koromo has been covered. You have mentioned that earlier. But can you name a few of them who have been injured and have been tr you, you treated them? Um, let me start with the ladies. Fanta, Fanta Dabu was injured and was treated. I treated him. I treated her, sorry. Uh, Juguna, Juguna too had a finger, which we also tried to uh, cure. Yeah. Those are the ones. And the other ones too said they were tortured, but they didn't come with any injuries. But they came, they said they, 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 they were tortured and they had general body pain and other things, fatumata and others. Then the male ones were, were Usenu, I must personally remove the stitches on his head. You have um, uh, Diba, Lamin Diba too, I treated him. But the first time they came, my junior officers went to see them at the security wing. Yes. But later, I, I myself personally went there some, some day, another in a different day, to see them. Thank you. Um, Imam Diallo, you have a block, please. Mm. Witness? No. You have had more than 14 years' experience in this very turbulent and difficult situation in the prisons. Mm. If we are to make a recommendation to the Commission, what would be your most important recommendation for the re rehabilitation of the prisons? Thank you. The most important one to me would be my area. Because health is a concern to everybody. If you are not healthy, if you are not okay, if you are not well, you can't go to anywhere, even going to court level. They like they prefer going to court more than anything if they are in the prisons. But if the person is sick, he cannot appear to court. So I would recommend my area first. Building a standard clinic in the prisons. We don't have a standard clinic in the prisons. Thank you. Yes, I'm uh, Commissioner uh, Jones. You have the floor, please. Ms. Sane, um, you mentioned that beriberi is not very common in the prisons nowadays at present. Yes. What would, sorry, what would you say is um, the most um, common um, symptoms of um, inmates, or what do they co complain about the most in prison in terms of um, illnesses or sicknesses? They complain on different, different, uh, but the most complain ones, you know, my two is surrounded by swamps. So the most common one I can say is this malaria fever. They will come up, come in with symptoms, malaria symptoms. Those are very common ones. And would you say you have um, adequate medical supplies to attend to these um, sick inmates? We don't have adequate medical supplies at mile two. That is a problem since in the First Republic to date. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. You mentioned um, the pepper soup diet. I think that's what Bishop was um, trying to allude to earlier. I didn't get you. You mentioned the pepper soup diet yeah. earlier, mm -hmm. um, but you've also said you don't know much about um, this diet. Mm -hmm. Um, are you trying to tell the commission that there has been no form of um, communication or no the medics the, the medics do not lay with the kitchen in terms of what diet should to put the um, 
the inmates on or is there no form of supervision or recommendations from the medics themselves as to what this inmate should eat? Not at all. Okay. The menu, the menu comes from Nana, which they follow up. This paper of diet, I don't know how it comes to the kitchen. I don't know who initiated it. At first they call it um, high protein diet. Now they change it to paper soup diet. I don't know where the initiative came from. I can't tell. I found it there and it is still going on. So you would not know if the pepper soup diet consists of only pepper soup? Yeah, it could be meat pepper soup or fish pepper soup. Those are the, the, ones, the two things they prepare. Okay, um, my final question. In your opinion, or rather from your assessment, um, has there been any significant um, changes or improvement in the prison system from January 2017 to date? There has been an improvement, hence this uh, very, very is a thing of the past today. I can say we have a, a significant improve, improvement in, the, in our area. Apart from the beriberi, is there any other? Because that's the only thing I've heard mentioned and this week. Thing, beriberi was not only the killer This is there. And other, other things too, we've tried to at least, anybody who, ha who is sick, we try to immediately evacuate you to the hospital. That is going on there smoothly, no problem. If you are sick, we don't look, watch you to suffer. We take you straight. We have an, a standby ambulance there. We are there to prepare the, 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 the referral form then. It will rush you to A&E. Okay. Is this the trend only at mile two, or does this apply to Joshua as well as um, Janjanburi? Joshua, if they have emergency, there is, we have only one ambulance, and it, will, it is stationed at mile two. So if they have an emergency, they will call us. The ambulance will rush there, take the, uh, the, 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 the individual to Joshua, to Canif, to the nearest hospital. Um, would you know if would you know what happens in Janjanburi? I know you're not um, stationed there, but would you know since you and Joshua seem to share one ambulance? Do you know what um, j um, the, j the Janjanburi prison would do if they have a medical emergency? Janjanburi, they are fine. If you have been to Janjanburi, you will see the location of the prisons and the health center. It is now even located directly opposite the gate of the prisons. So any sick report, they will evacuate the guy to the health center and he will receive the medical attention as soon as he arrives at the clinic, health but center. there's no um, ambulance station at that prison? No, right? we, all, we have only one ambulance okay. throughout the three stations. That's okay. mile two. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. There are no further um, questions before you make your concluding remarks if you have any, uh, Madam Sane. Do you know any uh, prison officers who have administered corporal punishment on, the, on, on uh, inmates? Uh, the, I don't, I, the one I can hear people saying would be Ibrahim Majame and the group. So those involved in the group, I don't know who are those. The actual, I had Tamba, Ibrahim Ajami. Yes. Tamba, Ibrahim Ajami. I don't know. Yes, they have a group, but I don't, cannot remember all the names. I'm not familiar to all the prison officers' names. But they have, they have, they have a group, they, they ended up forming a group. And are they designated as some uh, uh, people who would administer corporal punishment? Yes, I don't know how they came about with this issue of corporal punishment des designated to them. I don't, I can't tell much on that. I don't know how it come, come about, came about. And is this punishment administered at all three prisons? Joshua, Mile Two, and the Janjambure. I, I, it could be, but I don't, I don't, I can't tell for Joshua and Janjambure. Thank you very much. You may now proceed with your. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, um, uh, Commissioner Carl.
Thank you. Um, earlier, Commissioner Jalo asked you a question about recommendations you would like to make regarding your work. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that came up was that you, are, you are, I mean, your work is of interest to you. And earlier, I'm not sure if you've dealt with this, but how often do you have trainings regarding your profession? Depending on depending on to those those organizing the training because we 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 don't even have tra trainings there. It is only when all, all those people organize trainings, then we will be uh, served with a letter to go and attend. Um, so you don't have opportunities for further training, for instance, in high e education institutions such as the School of Nursing and things like that. Not yet. And would you want to be trained? Of course, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may now proceed with your concluding remarks, please. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to greet everybody in here, from the chairman to the last man. Um, I would, um, I would like to talk about our prisons the difficulties we encounter there we are definitely suffering in there since the first first republic to date prisoners are suffering and the prison officers are suffering too all of us are suffering we don't have a conducive environment to work and the prisoners too don't have a conducive environment to stay if you go to the prisons you will see how the structures are since the colonial time these structures have been there there is nothing being done to improve the, state, the structures there. You go in, you see the, 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 the environment. It's, you cannot imagine whether a human being can live in such environment. Where they put their, this uh, waste, you cannot, every time, especially this uh, uh, rainy season coming, during the rainy season, you, if you don't mind, you will eat together with flies. Yes, you. If you don't mind, you don't keep uh, fanning. You can eat a fly to a fly flies together in your food. So I would like to tell the government to please look into the prisons. We are neglected. We are far far neglected behind. Yes, prisoners where they live should be at least a standard place for 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 them. You cannot say a country there won't be a prison, prison, prisons. There must be prisons in a country. But the prisons must be a standard prisons. But the mile two prison is so congested. Now, there's this uh, pattern of corona has even reduced a lot of uh, uh, congestion in the prisons. But the congestion there sometimes, when they start bringing in prisoners, you cannot just imagine. Some people will be telling you we are sleeping in the floor. And that is so, so horrible. We would like the government to do something for the inmates there. They are our brothers. They are our sisters. And no, anybody can go into the prisons. We've been seeing people who are in their high positions today, they were in the prisons. But as soon as they are there, they will be telling us, if you go out, we will do this, we will do that, we will do this. And at the end, we will not see anything. And the issue of drugs remains the same thing to today. If we go to collect our drugs there, when we request for the drugs, they will say this drug is not available, this drug is not available. And the only budget they prepare for the prisons to prison, uh, prisons, um, uh, prisoners' budget for their medicine is not given this year. It's not given this year at all. They have a token they prepare for the for, for the prisons to be buying drugs when when the unavailable ones or the medicines to support the clinic. But this year the government did not give us even a single butut. We are there like that. If we go for the supply, if it is there, whatever is available there, they will give it to us. If it is not available, we are struggling there with the inmates. If they go to the hospital without a uh, they come back with a prescription. The only thing we do for them is to call their relatives to get the drugs for them. Or I will go to the finance. Before, I will go to the finance and say this is a prescription and he must get it. He is on the Then we were having, they, we, we were giving that token. They, they will take it from there. They will buy the medicine for that 
Pazi. But it's not happening this year. We are suffering there. Let the government have a look to us at us. We are definitely suffering. Definitely. The budget, uh, uh, the why they, they didn't give, to, give it to us this year, the reason is based on to them. And the prisoners are there. You cannot keep people. You cannot care for their health. I don't know why we were given for the past years we were given this uh, uh, money. But this year, nothing has been given to us. And the judges there will be sitting giving us court orders that this person must be provided with the, with, 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 with the drugs prescribed for the person. Where do we get the money from? If I don't buy it, my DG have to buy it. If I don't buy it, operation have to buy it. If I don't buy it, superintendent CC have to buy it. We are there with us. So that is the, uh, uh, this happening definitely. Let them, let them when, when, when they go to the National Assembly, let them consider the prisons. And even the officers, we are suffering. If you go to the quarters, you will see how the prisoners are, uh, sorry, the prison officers are living. We, we, they, 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 their living condition is horrible. You go to the quarters, you cannot imagine if a human being is living in the, in the quarters here. I think you've been to that quarters. So let the government do something for the, for, 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 for the prisons. We are definitely, we still, with all that negligence, we are still working, wholehearted. We put on, an, on our uniform looking so smart. We, every day we hang on our backs and go. We are so confident. We will not complain. It will pain us, but we have nothing to say. We are just adhering to whatsoever. We are servicemen, and they say discipline is number one, the backbone of service. So we are still trying, managing in that condition. Let the government help us imp to improve the, con the living condition of the inmates and the living condition of the officers. That's another thing. The other thing is uh, the clinic. A station like, a, a, a station like a Mile 2, there is no clinic. We are not trained nurses, but if we have a standard clinic, we can be working on the doctors if we, if, if, if we are not trained at all. Doctors can be coming. People can, qualified people can apply to join us. They will work on in the prisons. We will work under them, but let the government build a standard, a standard clinic facility in the prisons. We need it. We definitely need it, and it is not happening. Let the government have a look into the prisons. We beg. Let them have a look into the prisons. We are far, far behind compared to other uh, institutions. Even the allowances people, they said, they, we, they all applied together, these allowances, they said. All the institutions applied. But prisons, we don't have it. Reasons best known to them. And we are working, we are all civil servants. But how can you give to this institution? You said that the other institutions should wait till next year. If we apply, whatever we apply together with other institutions, other institutions are con considered, not the prisons. We don't know what we've done to the government. It doubts me, definitely. So we are appealing, let the government consider the prisons. We are also civil servants. Every day we take our bags, we dress up, we go to work as the other civil servants. Yes, we, I, mean, I am happy. And this justice too for the prisoners. Prisoners would be there for years. The justice system in the Gambia, I don't know. Prisoners will be there for years, sitting, waiting for their, waiting for their fate. You see a prisoner coming from the, pre, from the remand wing, he will tell you, I, I would say, for how long have you been here? They will be so used to you like a family member. For how long have you been here? I will tell you five years up. Five years above, still now your, 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 your rulings cannot take place. That also is another concern. If, if justice is good in going according to how it, is, it should go, at least the congestion there at the remand would, 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 would be better. You know your fate, you join the other ones there. Maybe transfer will come there, would move you to another uh, this, uh, station. But you will be there at the remand wing. All of us, I think you visited the remand wing. The way the remand wing is, is, you cannot just imagine for how many hundreds of people living in that condition. So we are appealing to the government to, to, to see what to do. If they are going to build a new prisons for the nation, 
let them look into it. But that mile to when this when it's surrounded by the swamps. They don't have there is no season for mosquitoes at mile two. Prisoners are suffering from these mosquito bites. And this they could this small they call I don't know, locally called mutu mutu. If it is if if they start here no prisoner is sleeping, no officer is sleeping, is, is having peace with these uh, insects. It, prison officers are in a terrible state, and the prisoners are also in a terrible state. We are appealing to the government once again, let them consider the prisons. Yes, let them consider the prison. We are far, 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 far behind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh uh, Madam Sane, for those um, remarks. And uh, this is the beginning of our uh, institutional hearings, and uh, we will take into account um, very much um, uh, the testimonies that you're giving that should help us in the formulation of our recommendations regarding institutional uh, reforms. Uh, but again, thank you so much, Emma, for uh, coming to testify before the Commission. We will um, uh, end um, the day today and then come back tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much.